morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And today I wanted to show you how you can make a successful terrarium. And I will even have these terrariums listed on my website. And I don't know about you, but I've always had such bad luck in the past with terrariums. I just couldn't seem to get it right. They were a little complicated for me. So I'll show you how to decoupage one and decorate one so that it will last forever. No watering. And with these new faux plants that you can put inside of here, which I carry on my website, these newer plants look so realistic that they fool the naked eye into thinking these plants are real. They really look identical to the real thing. And I will put these butterflies on my website for you also. Just one word of advice when you're ordering anything from the website, always make sure to check the dimensions. Some of the terrariums are very small some are larger so i'll have some smaller ones and larger ones on my website and the first thing we're going to do with this is you want to take a good glass cleaner and just make sure you clean the whole thing now you can see that i've got metal pieces on this terrarium and a lot of the terrariums that you see will have these metal pieces but we can decoupage right over those so I'm, I'm taking a very strong alcohol and a cotton pad and I'm going over the whole surface and I'm cleaning all of the glass you should do this on the inside also and here's these metal pieces we're just going to leave those be and not even worry about them we'll decoupage right on this panel and right over that and I'm taking my napkin now I wanted a napkin that had kind of an upward pattern. The flowers are growing upward like this. And what I did was I cut it into thirds, like a puzzle here, and fit it, actually four pieces, and I fit it over this back panel. And you can see that I did not separate the napkin before I cut it. It makes it a lot easier to cut. And then just dampen these edges and separate the napkin so that you've only got this top piece. And make sure to flip the napkin over so that the print is facing forward. Oops, it's starting to snow here. We're supposed to get a big nor'easter this weekend with a lot of snow so I'll be doing more decoupage for you <laughs> and just apply the decoupage glue one section at a time it's okay to overlap because we're going to file that away later and then you pl place your napkin down over the section where you just applied the decoupage glue and take a piece of saran wrap or plastic and press that napkin down. You want to make sure all of the edges are down. When you apply this second piece, the napkin is very delicate, so just go over the edge of the napkin without moving the brush back and forth. Just move it in one direction as if you are painting the napkin down. Then apply the second piece. We'll do the same thing, take the plastic wrap, the napkin and the decoupage glue will not stick to the plastic wrap and this way you can press everything down without worrying about it tearing and when i did this last piece i just wanted to show you something i followed those same instructions you can also blot the saran wrap you could take the saran wrap and bunch it up and blot the napkin down so it helps out with any wrinkles now i made a little error up here so all I did was I took the original napkin I cut out the piece that would have gone there normally and I just decoupaged it right over that now I put this aside to dry and since this is so thin I just put it near a heat vent it dried quickly I then added a second layer of the decoupage glue over the whole back and I let this dry I added another layer and let that dry. Then when it was dry, I took a nail file and I just went along all of the edges, side, top, bottom here, and I filed away any excess. And you may want to experiment the way I did. I got a piece of cut glass from the hardware store and I decoupaged over it first because I wanted to see how this looked with paint and without paint over the back of the napkin. Now this way it looks like 
the white paint makes the napkin pop a little bit more. However, when I held it back up against the window, which is where this terrarium is going to sit, you can see that the side that doesn't have any paint over the back of the napkin really pops with the natural sunlight. So I decided that I'm not going to paint the back of the napkin for this terrarium. That is completely up to you depending on where you're going to put it. You may want to paint over the napkin. You may want to just leave it be. If you've got any decoupage glue anywhere on your glass, just take a straight edge razor and go along the edges like this. It'll remove it right away. And once you're done with all of that, you'll want to apply a top coat or a varnish over your napkins. You can either paint it on or spray paint it on. And now I'm going to add some decorative elements inside and that is some sand that's used just for crafting. These are the faux plants. Look at these, aren't they adorable? They really look so real. And I added some butterflies to the inside of these. The butterflies matched the napkin. So I put one inside each one of these and I also found some electric candles or votives that I put in back of each one. And I should have put the candles in first and then these pretty decorative rocks. I always wonder how to use these rocks because they come up with these beautiful stones, glass pieces, rocks. They're polished, the colors are so nice, and I never know where to use them, so I'm so excited I'm able to use them in this terrarium. So I placed these electric candles behind my little plants. I put the stones in over the sand, my butterflies, and then when I was all done, I placed the top back onto my terrarium, and here's how we look. And I wanted to show this to you in a bunch of different lights because right now it's nighttime, so I wanted you to see with the lights off at dusk. Uh, I'll show it to you how in the morning where I'm keeping it in the sunlight so you can see how it looks. But in the meantime, guys, this is how you can make a successful terrarium. And I'm so excited that I can finally use this because I love the glass the plants, the stones, the sand, and of course the decoupage only on the back of this. And my website does go through Amazon, but when you go through my site, it really allows me to keep making more videos. It's a big help to me. If you have Amazon Prime, all of the same features apply. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, I always try to find you free shipping on the items. It's usually if you spend over 35, which is very easy to do on Amazon. And you don't just have to buy products that I recommend or I have links to. You can do all of your Amazon shopping while you're over there. And the link to my website is right below this video in the description. Just click on the link. It'll take you right to my website. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. I am happy to get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for subscribing. I love making these videos for you guys. And I will see you next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.